We go to break in nine minutes or eight and a half minutes. I'm going to give Max Kaiser the floor to break down the economic outlook and all the different angles we just broke down. And then we're going to come back from break and I'll have more questions. But Max Kaiser joining us via audio Skype. Thank you. Hey, Alex. Great to be back on. Yeah, well, obviously, Janet Yellen just came out with her news that she's not going to do anything with interest rates. And of course, that was only a 4% chance that she would raise interest rates for the very simple reason that you cannot, pon you cannot taper a Ponzi scheme. You know, you've got $200 trillion in debt around the world. So if Janet Yellen raises interest rates, then all these banks would become immediately insolvent. So what does this mean for folks? This means that the money that's being used to pay off the elite, they are running out of tricks on Wall Street, and so they are bringing in negative interest rates, which means that you are going to be charged to keep money at the bank. They're just going to take money right out of your bank. They call it negative interest rates. And for this reason, there's a lot more interest now in gold, silver, and cryptocurrencies. All of them are now trading above their 200-day moving averages. A lot of people are now revisiting gold, silver, and cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Startcoin because they want to get out of the banking system that they see is on fire and imploding. Over 50% of all the sovereign bonds in Europe right now, of the two-year bonds, have a negative yield. That's right. 50% of the sovereign bonds in Europe are now negative yield. That means that they just confiscate your wealth. So this is coming to America. It's coming to Britain. And people, uh, have you been saying on your show for quite some time, uh, it's better to be a day early than a, than, a, than a day late when it comes to protecting yourself against all the shenanigans. So that's clearly the, the, the kind of the big news of the day. And to help people, Alex, I am giving away free money today at startcoin.com. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you go to startcoin.com, I'm giving away free money to your listeners all day as a way to introduce them to cryptocurrencies, which I think is the only way to preserve your wealth. Uh, we see it happening in China right now. Uh, millions of Chinese people are now extremely worried that these bankers are starting to confiscate their wealth and they're moving their money out quickly. And, and this is why we're seeing these prices now starting to move aggressively. Uh, other, other than that, uh, if you look across the, uh, the, the financial uh, ecosphere around the world, uh, clearly, um, the, the reports that we're doing and the reports that you're doing are, are getting the people in Washington very nervous. I see John McCain now is openly calling to shut RT down. Uh, you know, you get the pressure uh, over there at your, at your shop. I know Matt Drudge is being pressured. Uh, you know, he's been on your show talking about it. So is RT. RT is being pressured every day. We get notices from the regulators, from the State Department, that they're coming after us. They want to shut the Kaiser report down. They want to take us off the air, but we're going to keep doing it, Alex, because there's nobody. John McCain, you know, he's not going to stop me. Nobody's going to stop me because people deserve this information. Max Kaiser continuing um, along that line. Give us the big picture on where the world economy is right now, how big a deal it is that the Chinese are now for about four months not buying U.S. Treasuries and are in fact dumping them and now making military threats. Because I'll say this, the U.S. has 180 bases, should have started a war with Russia, shouldn't have funded ISIS, but I've looked at the Spratly Island issue, it's in major dispute. China is building artificial islands and is being very, very threatening and has been entering into our territorial waters. So give me your take on that. Yeah, well, China, you're right. They're selling U.S. Treasury bonds and they are buying gold and they have allied with Russia and Iran in a major flashpoint in the world right now called Syria. And the U.S. and her allies are mucking it up tremendously in Syria, and the whole world is bearing witness to the fact that the U.S. was supporting ISIS and the worst of the worst of the terrorists, and Russia, China, Iran. These countries are actually 
stepping in to fill the leadership gap. And the propaganda coming out of the U.S. is being just is being made a mockery out of it. And also here in the U.K., the BBC, every single night it becomes a they become a laughing stock because they simply parrot all of the talking points that the U.S. State Department gives the BBC. And they they just repeat them uh, ad uh, you know ad nauseum, and it's just become a, a hellacious uh, shell of what the BBC used to be. And they're quite nervous about it. But yeah, that's right. So they're selling a lot of bonds because they recognize that the U.S. dollar is is the victim of all this quantitative easing and all this money printing. When Janet Yellen it prints a lot of money or when the ECB prints a lot of money or the Bank of Japan prints a lot of money, what does that do to the to the stock of money in circulation? It dilutes its value. Your purchasing power goes down. So the only way that they can keep that ball rolling to keep the, the mirage in place is to buy back their own bonds, buy back their own securities, but they don't have a, it's not a limitless game. You know, the Federal Reserve Bank is now in trillions of dollars worth of this paper on their balance sheet, but it doesn't end. I mean, it has to end at some point. So they realize that they're looking down both barrels of, of, of a currency collapse. And so the smart money like Russia, China, and even Iran, they are buying gold or buying gold aggressively as we've been reporting on your show. But this is a game that cannot go on forever, and we definitely now see the telltale signs of fatigue. With, with, when they're actually going into negative interest rates, that, that would be the final signal to prepare yourself. There's, there's nothing behind negative interest rates except for outright confiscation like they did in 1933 where they confiscated people's gold. Uh, that would be the next step. They just shut down your bank account and just say, look, the, the elites need your money. I'm sorry, you don't have access to it anymore, and it's all over. And that's coming. So, you need, and negative interest rates are the last major warning signal to get out of the banks. Well, Max Kaiser is our guest, and you notice I'm shutting up because I really want to get his in depth analysis and his serious uh, reporting. Uh, Max, when you talk about people like Dent, or you talk about people like Schiff, uh, he's right up there at the top with accurate predictions. Uh, we've been in a global implosion for several years. They say we've been in a great position that Max Kaiser's wrong. Well, no, Max Kaiser was right, uh, saying that China, he said six months ago, would stop buying our treasuries. Well, it took three months longer than he said. We're here. And uh, he's right about nine times out of ten, whereas CNBC's wrong about nine times out of ten on purpose. So I really want to pick his brain on where he thinks things are going. Leanne McAdoo will pop in live as well for five minutes on the melting down radioactive waste dump outside St. Louis that she demanded she go cover. That girl has a lot of courage. Leanne McAdoo will pop in for about five minutes the next segment. We'll go back to Max Kaiser and then your phone calls on financial issues. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. By the way, we have Super Mel Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com back in stock. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine back in stock. Brain Force back in stock. Uh, Sleep Aid, Knockout. It's about half the price of leading competitors that just have melatonin in it. This has valerian root and then what, eight other ingredients. Uh, melatonin, you name it. Best sleep aid I've ever taken. I know that. And I don't need it most nights to go to sleep. But when I do, when I am jacked up from working late, boom. This is what I take, and your purchase supports the broadcast. Liver Shield, the Liver Cleanse, is back in stock, and we've got 25% off the Liver Cleanse Pack. That's the Oxy Powder and the Liver Shield. 25% off, huge sale, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Max Kaiser of MaxKaiser.com joins us. You know, Max, you know I'm not tooting your horn. It is true that different guests have predicted different pieces of this. You predicted the downturn earlier than it was admitted. Uh, you predicted that they would start not buying U.S. Treasuries, and then at first that would actually look like they were bolstered as, as other people run in and start buying them. Uh, but now it's come true. Where do you see the interest rates going now? It was in CNBC Today, negative. You said here two years ago, six months ago, it's on your site. You predicted negative interest rates. What does this signify? Right. Yeah, I did say that there would we would see negative interest rates 
And that at the time was seen as an impossibility, and yet it has come. The, the collapse that I've been talking about and other guests have been talking about is being delayed because you have around the world big central banks working together to buy their own bonds. They issue a bond and then they buy it back. They are monetizing their own debt. And this is what we see every single time our currency collapses. The difference today in 2015 than in previous eras is that this is the first time in history you've got all the major central banks around the world working, coordinating together. Because you do have a world governance. You do have treaties like TPP, which gives a select group of corporations sovereignty over any state. Uh, so they are able to coordinate globally their central bank, acti bank activities. So they have been able to delay this comeuppance, if you will, in the markets, where finally the paper currencies, and over the past 300 years, the number of paper currencies that have survived is exactly zero. They, none of them have survived. The average lifespan of a paper currency is less than 30 years. And this is going to be the case going forward. And, but negative interest rates, which at the time was seen as heresy, as impossible, we now have them. In places like Sweden, they are already starting to roll these out on the, in the retail environment. When you go to the bank, they are now starting to take money out of your account. Uh, to well, give sure. To, wasn't, wasn't Switzerland first two years ago starting this? In Europe, different countries in Europe, they've gone in and out of this, and now it's becoming more of a general trend all over Europe. And soon it'll just go global. Uh, we, we've seen it in outright confiscation, obviously, in places like Cyprus. We saw... Uh, confiscation in Greece, and then this is a form of confiscation. It's called negative interest rates. They'll tell you there's an economic theory behind it. They'll tell you that this is needed to support what we hope to be growth, and we're supporting jobs. And we have these academics who tell you uh, why their PhD that they wrote supports this idea and why it's healthy for everybody. But at the end of the day, it's just confiscation. They're just taking money out of your account because the debt is so huge hundreds of trillions of dollars that they they've run out of ways to pay that debt. Uh, and now they're just stealing the money outright. So in, in these banks, um, there's a place where it's extremely unsafe to, to do business with these banks. So you've got right now, I, I will alert you to what, what's happening in the crypto space, because I was the first person on your show to talk about cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. But what's happened in the last year is, you know, two years ago, crypto coins and Bitcoin were laughed at, particularly on Wall Street. But now Wall Street is getting in on the game. American Express is now introducing a crypto coin. Citibank is introducing Citicoin. Uh, all the banks in London are experimenting uh, with cryptocurrencies. But we have a problem because their cryptocurrencies are centralized cryptocurrencies that's my that next actually, question max kaiser yes, uh, yes. sit back relax three minute break then mcadoo comes on for a few minutes to give us an update we're coming right back to you we want to hear from you uh how you think this shakes out and how people protect themselves in this volatile environment we'll look at military operations as well and take phone calls stay with us so do you think that we'll just sail on off of the sunset with unlimited money printing or will it be a come up and hyperinflation or will it be deflation and depression most of the world is already in financial and military and cultural crisis look at what's happening in europe right now with the giant migrant flows 800 259 9231 is the number for your comment on that subject or a financial question or comment to max kaiser 800 259 look like the phone system just had a hiccup has gone back up so now you've got a chance to call back in, 800-259-9231. We're going back to Max Kaiser at MaxKaiser.com with more of his analysis and hopefully more of his predictions because we want to see what he thinks is coming in the future because he's been pretty darn accurate uh, on most of his predictions in the past. Uh, after we talk to Leanne McAdoo, here is a clip of one of many reports her and Josh Owens have filed outside St. Louis at the big Manhattan Project site. Now, I told him, I said, I don't want you going to this. 
unless you really volunteer. It's not my idea. It was Leanne's, but she's a tough cookie. She went out there, and it's been burning for two years, but now it's getting into the radioactive area.